this is a five minute Campy's Cutie makeup tutorial. This makeup is fresh and pretty and perfect for busy mornings on campus or busy mornings anywhere. So we are going to start by applying a concealer to our under eyes and this is Hard Candy's Light Bright Concealer. This concealer has a pretty strange texture. It's drier and thicker than most concealers I've used before but I kind of like it because my under eyes tend to get pretty oily throughout the day and then other concealers would move whereas this one stays put pretty well. It's lighter to brighten the under eye area and make me look less tired. Now I'm going to apply a foundation. This is Maybelline Shine Free Stick Foundation. I'm applying it after the concealer because I find that this concealer blends with foundation better if you apply the foundation after. And you want to pick a foundation that is really quick to apply. This one is super easy for me because all I have to do is streak it onto my face and blend it with my fingers. Now we're going to seal everything in with some translucent powder. Here I'm using Clinique's Blended Face Powder but you can use any translucent powder that you like and this just gives the foundation and concealer extra stay power. Now to apply a blush, this is Maybelline's Fit Me Blush in Medium Coral. I love using coral shades on the cheeks because I feel like they give this beautiful, girly, and really fresh, happy look to the face. Now we're going to fill in the brows. This is Revlon's Brow Fantasy Duo. We're starting with the pencil side just to sort of fill in sparse areas in the brows and I am accentuating my arch a little bit because it is kind of small. And this looks pretty dark but it's not actually this dark. It's quite a bit more natural looking and you're going to fill in using short hair like strokes. and already it makes your face look super different. Don't skip filling in your brows. Now we're going to use the second part of the brow duo which is the brow gel which is a tinted brow gel and I'm just using upward strokes and then pulling the hairs over so I'm lifting them while still keeping them in line with the rest of my brow and if you make a mistake just wipe it off. This gel is actually super forgiving when it comes to mistakes and it comes off the skin really easily and it looks very natural as you can see here. Now we're going to curl our lashes and put on some mascara. Here I'm using Maybelline's Mega Plush Mascara and I really like this mascara because it is super lengthening and it's really great at separating. You can concentrate it at the roots of your lashes for a little bit more volume but that's not what this mascara is for but I do love how great it is at lengthening and separating again. This is a wonderful mascara. Maybelline has not disappointed me yet. As you can see here, I am applying to both and top, both the top and bottom lashes and this just gives you a more wide-eyed, more doll-like, more girly, more awake look. So more everything. We're going to finish off with a lipstick and this is L'Oreal's Fresh as a Rose. Now this is pretty bright so I'm not going to go absolutely mental with it. As you can see here I'm just kind of dabbing it on my lips for a wash of bright pink color and feel free to use any pink that you like or you are completely in love with. And this is the final look. It's super fresh, super pretty, super easy and definitely perfect for summer. This is a five minute Campus Cutie makeup tutorial. 